Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Stamping with Smooch. Ooh, Connie. She's got this fabulous technique to show you on today's show. So Connie, on today's show, you are going to show us how to stamp with Smooch. I am. And I'm really excited for you all to see this because it gives another interesting twist to this fabulous product that comes in these little tiny nail polish like containers. So take it away. All right. Um, what I wanted to show you is a card that I made um, using the Smooch ink um, instead of an ink pad. So. I, I love these Impression Obsession stamps. This is the one I'm using, and it's a cling mount. I just put it on an acrylic block. So you're gonna use this great smooch ink that's pigment-based, mm -hmm. and it has that those filaments inside, so you have to like shake it up a bit, or do you think you do, or you don't, oh. you don't really, ma does it really matter some of the colors? I don't think it really matters. Okay. So I just use the applicator. This works best on a, a technique where the, uh, the stamp isn't very highly detailed. Um, where you want a nice, soft, kind of muted watercolor look. So just use the applicator and... Oh, you're actually going to paint it right on. I'm actually brushing the smooch right on to the stamp. To get that watercolor-like... Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. There's more. So we can do as much or as little. So if you just wanted to do one flower, just rub the smooch onto part of the stamp. Or you can mix up if you wanted a flower that's a couple of different colors. Right. So brush it on there. And then we'll just put a little green on the stems. So you can do this technique with, uh, I've seen it done with watercolor pencils and, and markers. And just give it one quick spritz with water in case any of your smooch has dried. And then just press it down. And you have a nice watercolor look. Oh yeah. So if you wanted to do it again, you could brush the ink off the, the leaves and then just add, even if you do a, a second impression, you still got oh, yes. um, some ink. So you can add kind of depth or, or what have you, but it's just a nice soft look. Right, and you can see here on your card how you really got sort of that watered in look mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. Very nice. So Very that's nice. all it is for stamping. Um, and so what did you do here? Oh, I know you that. did something cool there. So, I mean, you have this little piece, and you could cut it out and mount it and create a card, but I like to add a lot of texture. Um, so first I took a piece of May Arts ribbon. It's a wider piece, and it's got beautiful texture. And so yeah, I mounted that right there. on um, part of the background. And then I thought, well, it'll be nice to have something meshy looking. So I raided my garage, and I came up with this um, drywall tape. And it's an awful color for a card, but you know what? This stuff is magical because you can just find the end here. Drywall. This is our frugal scrapbooker, by the way, in case you don't know, Connie, so I'm not at all surprised that we are putting drywall tape on your card. And I, and I see here that you've made it quite pretty, and let me see what you do now. Okay, so you take your drywall tape, you can make it whatever color you want. Um, I just have some color box um, dye ink in purple to match my smooch. And I have an applicator. I love these things. The styluses and the white foam tips from Clear Snap are a must have. So just dab your ink over your drywall tape and you have custom magic mesh. And so you can just pick it up, you can trim oh, it. Oh, just a second. Look at what you got left oh, with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or you wow. could use it as a mask. That's pretty. You can cut it into different shapes. You could die cut it or you can just use it as a base for your card. So and just you, and it's already back. it's already sticky too, right? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's I, I'm not a drywaller, but yeah, cool. Yeah. So it's 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 simple, but it just adds a little bit of stuff. So then I use the wand and I um, just wrap around the outside to kind of define it, put it all together. Impression Obsession has another really nice step. Which oh, I this place. the, there the it is. Uh, sentiment. And it goes well for so many different kinds of cards, right? 
um, and I love the sayings and the quotes that they have, so I use them with a lot of flower stamps. So, Connie, I see here that you also used some Coordination's Color Core cardstock. I sure did. Um, I used one of my favorite coordination packs, this one that comes in the Distress Ink Colors with, by Ranger. Um, I love the colors, and the purple just went perfectly with some of my smooch ink. So, you can rip. Um, part of the side and it gives a, a, a subtler different look and you can make the base out of it. I've done another one here using the green coordinations cardstock. It's just it's basically the same card with a different color cardstock and a different look. So you just layer up your pieces with some scrapbook adhesives by 3L and you've called it a day. You've got some nice cards for different occasions. Connie used coordinations color core cardstock for the base of this cute little card. The stamp is from Impression Obsession Stamps. The ink is Clear Snap Smooch Ink and Dye Ink. That fabulous strip of ribbon is from May Arts Ribbon. And all of the adhesive is from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. So you've turned our smooch into an ink to stamp with and into a watercolor effect. And you've added drywall tape and you've customized it. And Connie, that is why you are our frugal scrapbooker. <laughs> Thank you so much. These are cards that you definitely will, anybody would love to get these. I would love to get this in the mail. I might just keep this one. It might sneak it into my stash without Connie knowing. Anyways, until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.